Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug, and today we're talking Anycubic Cobra S1 combo. Really, it's just the Anycubic Cobra S1. And what are we talking about? We're talking about thermosistors. If you recall, if you've been following along, my first hot end had a significant leak from everywhere and died and was no good and wouldn't work. Contacted Anycubic, and they're like, okay, well, we'll send you a new one. Well, that was back in March. I still don't have it. Wanting to print, I went on Amazon, and I got myself um, an aftermarket. And guess what? That didn't work. So I was resigned to waiting when somebody said in one of the comments, Doug, go on AliExpress and find one. So I did. And that's what this one is. Um, that was my last video. Uh, and then somebody said, check the thermosistor resistance and see what's going on. See if you have the right resistance. The problem with the aftermarkets, so original aftermarket and then the AliExpress, the problem with the aftermarkets is there's not enough resistance to measure temperature correctly. So here we go. Really quick video. Resistance is set up. This one's the original. Now it's got to be, I think, over 200 to work well. Ooh, 330. All right, where's this one at? I haven't done this yet, so hope I'm doing this right. Here we go. Put that one in there. 134. Hmm, interesting. All right, now. Now, I've gotten some successful prints, so I'm guessing this is at least 200. 363, the most resistance out of all of them. Now, I don't know if that is bad, <laughs> that it's over 200. I don't know if it's at least 200 is what you need. But it looks like what people have been saying about these is correct. That Here's, here's the point two nozzle that came with it. So now I'm wondering, would it be easy? I hate these bags. My fingers do not want to open these, especially when they're dry. I wonder if I could take the old resistor, thermosistor, sorry. Get out of the bag, gosh darn it. Um, let's test this one straight out of the bag. Here, here. Oh, same thing, 134. Wow. Well, that explains why it didn't work. Now, I would say this. Anytime you get a new one, just test it. It takes two seconds, and you'll see where you're at and see if it's even worth your time putting it in. This one, not worth putting my time. The brand new one that I still haven't used since the point two nozzle, not worth my time. But I wonder if I just take out the heater cartridge and the thermosistor, and I replace it with the original, that should, in theory, work. I will tell you, getting these out is nigh impossible. You have to heat the crap out of them because they have, um, like, thermal glue in there. Ugh, what a pain. So anyway, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Thank you for the guys out there who suggested to do it. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.